Sam, thank you. Tonight, there's a bit of relief for many in South Portland that are seeing soaring rent prices right now. The City Council just passed an ordinance capping rent increases for the next seven years. News remains Alex Haskell has the details from City Hall. The South Portland Council voted 4 to 3 passing the rent stabilization ordinance. It only applies to landlords who own 15 or more units with some exceptions such as new development. But advocates say it's a step in the right direction. We're, you know, $300 short late, but we pay every week until we make it up. Emotional words from renters in South Portland earlier this month, many of whom say they're struggling to make ends meet while their landlords are raising rent by hundreds of dollars. When I first moved in, my rent was $590 a month. I now pay $1,222. It's part of why the South Portland City Council just passed a new rent stabilization ordinance, capping annual rent increases at 10 percent. Tuesday night, several speaking before City Council in favor of rent control. Just the costs are astronomical, so I'm glad at least you're trying to, to help people. I don't know if I wouldn't go with it. But there are arguments against rent stabilization. Tonight, some councillors say it would actually increase rent in the long run and discourage landlords from investing in South Portland. Even the mere words rent control or rent stabilization ensconced in city ordinance um, will have a chilling effect on development and that will be a problem for years to come. It's an issue other communities are debating as well. Just a day ago on Monday, the city of Portland decided to send a rent control referendum to voters. If passed, it would remove a 5% cap on rent increases when a tenant leaves voluntarily. Everything else is expensive. Look at the price of groceries. Look at inflation and everything now, what's happened. So I, don't, I really don't know how people are doing it. The new ordinance will take effect in May. In South Portland, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.